Today we are going to talk about the strategies for enhancement in food production. Biological principles are applied to plant breeding to increase the food production. Now what is plant breeding? It is the genetic improvement of the crop in order to create desired plant types that are better suited for cultivation, gives better yields and are disease resistant. Classical plant breeding involves crossing or hybridization of pure lines followed by artificial selection to produce plants with desirable traits of higher yield, nutrition and resistant to diseases. Here we see a diagrammatic representation of plant breeding that is the DNA is crossed and then they are bred and then put into the soil and the new plants are produced. There are various steps in plant breeding. First of all is the collection of variability. Collection and preservation of all the different wild varieties, species and relatives of the cultivated species is a prerequisite for effective exploitation of natural genes available in the population. Germplasm is the sum total of all the alleles of the genes present in a crop and its related species. The entire collection of plant or seeds having all the diverse alleles for all genes in a given crop is called as germplasm collection. Therefore, germplasm collection is the most practical and effective answer to problem of germplasm due to expansion of agriculture, industries and other human activities. Evaluation and Selection of Parents The germplasm is evaluated to identify the plants with desirable combination of characters. The selected plants are multiplied and used in the process of hybridization. Pure lines are created wherever desirable and possible. Cross hybridization among the selected parents. The desired characters have very often to be combined from two different parents. For example, high protein quality of one parent may need to be combined from two different plants. For example, high protein quality of one parent may need to be combined with disease resistant from another plant. This is possible by the method of cross hybridization that is cross hybridizing the two parents to produce hybrids that genetically combine the desired characters in one plant. This process may be time consuming and a tedious one since the pollen grains from the desirable plant is chosen as the male parent which is collected and placed on the stigma of the flowers selected as the female parent. However, only one in a few hundred to a thousand crosses shows the desirable combination. Common method of crop improvement first of all is the selection. Mass selection, simplest and oldest method mainly for cross-pollinated crops and is based on phenotypic characters. Varieties produced by this method lose the desirable qualities. Pure line or inbred selection. It involves isolating desirable homozygous individuals and is done for self-pollinating crops. Example is PV18, HUW468, Kalyan Sona, 
are the varieties of wheat. Next comes the clonal selection. It is used for vegetatively reproducing crops. Examples are kofri shaped potato. Hybridization may be intravarietal which is useful for self-pollinating crops or intervarietal that is intraspecific example are Ganga and the Ranjit variety of maize. Interspecific the rice variety ADT37 Orize Japonicax and Orize indices. Intergeneric it is triticate Raphenobrassica. No new characters are created by hybridization. Mutation breeding. Various chemicals such as HNO2, base analogs, alkylite agents, acridine dyes and x-rays, UV rays, gamma rays are used to induce mutations which produces desirable qualities. It has been used commonly in self-pollinating crops. A number of new varieties have been developed. Example is the Sharabati Sonora and Pusa Lerma varieties of wheat. Erectiferum and Erectoids varieties of barley, Aruna variety of castor, Thick shell in the groundnut, wheat variety NPA36, Jagannath variety in rice, Indo 2 variety of cotton, in moong bean, resistance to yellow mosaic virus and powdery mildew, peppermint, toads misham variety, high oil content and disease resistant varieties have been produced. Polyploid breeding. Induced polyploidy is used by plant breeders for improving yield of forage and other crops. Many of modern day crops such as wheat, rice, sugarcane, cotton are natural polyploids. The aloe polyploids have been used for obtaining Fertile hybrids between different species and genera. Allopolyploidy immediately forms new species that is the durum wheat, bread wheat or the treaty kale. Selection and testing of superior recombinations. The selection process yields plants that are superior to both the parents. These plants are self-pollinated for several generations till they come to a state of uniformity which as such is the homozygosity that is the stability so that the characters will not separate in the further progeny. Testing, release and commercialization of new cultivars the newly selected lines are evaluated for their yields and other agronomic traits of quality, disease resistance, etc. The evaluation is done by growing them in the research field and recording their performance under ideal fertilizer application, irrigation and other crop management practices. The evaluation in the research field is followed by testing the materials in the farmer's fields for at least three growing seasons at several locations in the country representing all the agroclimatic zones where the crop is usually grown. Wheat and rice. During the period of 1960 to 2000, wheat production increased from 11 million tons to 75 million tons while the rice production went up from 35 million tons to 89.5 million tons. This was due to the development of semi-dwarf varieties of wheat and rice. 
A dwarfing gene norin 10 was reported in Japan. American plant breeders produce single dwarf wheat and bolog of Mexico produce triple dwarf wheat popularly known as the Mexican wheat. These had high yields, resistance to common pathogens and pests and have a similar growth period as the normal weed varieties. Sonora 64 and Lerma Rojo 64 were brought to India and modified through gamma mutations so that they could become a part of the Indian agriculture. In 1963, many lines like Sonalika and Kalyan Sona were also selected as high-yielding and disease-resistant varieties. Dwarf rice, a dwarfing gene D. Gio Wu Gen was reported in Taiwan. It was introduced in rice varieties by IRRI Philippines in varieties IR8, IR24. Taichung Native 1 developed from Taiwan Jaya and Ratna were developed in India. Sugarcane Sakharam Barbary was originally grown in the northern part of the India but had poor sugar content and yield. Sakharam officinarum had higher sugar content and thicker stems but did not grow well in the northern part of the country. These two species were crossed to have sugarcane varieties combining the desirable qualities of higher sugar high yield, thick stem and ability to grow in the sugar cane belt in the northern part of the India. Millets, hybrid maize, jowar and bajra have been successfully developed in India. Hybrid breeding have led to the development of several high yielding varieties resistant to water stress. Plant breeding for disease resistance. Fungal, bacterial, viral and nematode pathogens attack the cultivated crops. They lose up to 20 to 30 percent of water. If the crops are made disease resistant, food production is increased, use of fungicides and bactericides are reduced. Resistance of the host plant is the ability to prevent the pathogen from causing disease and is determined by the genetic constitution of the host plant. Now before the breeding is undertaken, it is very important to know about the causative organism. Therefore only we can prevent the disease and the mode of transmission. Some of the diseases caused by fungi are rusts. Example is brown rust of the wheat, red rot of sugarcane and late blight of potato by bacteria, black rot of crucifers and by viruses, the tobacco mosaic and turnip mosaic diseases. Some of the fungal diseases of crops of phycomycetes are white rust of crucifer is caused by albugo candida or Cystopus candidus. The dynamel dew is caused by Peranospora. Damping off of the seedlings is caused by Pythium affinidermatum. The late blight of potato is caused by Phytophthora infestans. And the green ear of disease of the Bajra is caused by the Sclerospora graminicola. The Ascomycetes causing diseases are claviceps purpurea, agat of bajra, erysifae causing powdery mildew. In the basidiomycetes, puxina graminis tritici causes trem rust or black rust of wheat, puxinia recondita causes leaf rust or brown rust of wheat, ustilago hodi causes covered smut of the barley. In deuteromycetes, 
Alternaria solani causes early blight of potato. Cercospora personata causes ticker disease of the groundnut. Colletotricum falcatum causes red rot of sugarcane. Fusarium udum causes wilt of arhar. And Hilmenthosporium orizae causes sesame leaf spot or brown leaf spot of the rice. Now bacterial disease of the plants. The hosts may be the triticum estivum. Pathogen is Cornibacterium tritici and the disease caused is Tundu or the bacterial ear rot. The Magnifera indica is infested by Pseudomonas magniferae indici and the disease caused is bacterial leaf spot. Pseudomonas rublinians is a Pathogen for Saccharum officinarum causing red stripe of the sugarcane, whereas Pseudomonas solanicerinum causes bacterial wilt of tomato in Lycospercum esculentum. In nicotine, Pseudomonas solanicerinum causes bacterial wilt of tobacco, while in the Brassica species, Xanthomonas campestris causes black rot of crucifer. In cotton, Xanthomonas malviserum causes blank arm of angular leaf spot of cotton. And in rice, Xanthomonas orizae causes bacterial bright of rice. The viral diseases in the plants are yellow vein mosaic of bindi. It occurs in the Abelmoschus esculentus, that is the lady's finger, turnip mosaic in the turnip, stenosis in the gossypium species, tobacco mosaic disease in the tobacco, and mosaic of apple in the apple. Methods of breeding for disease resistance. Breeding is carried out either by conventional breeding techniques described earlier or by mutation breeding. The conventional method of breeding for disease resistance is hybridization and selection. The various sequential steps are screening, germplasm for resistance sources, hybridization of the selected parents, selection and evaluation of hybrids, and testing and release of new varieties. Some of the resistant variety crops are the Himgeri variety of wheat which is resistant to leaf and stripe rust, Pusa Swamnim variety of Brassica to the white rust, Pusa Shubra variety of cauliflower and Pusa Snowball K1 to black rot and curl blight of black rot, the Pusa Komal variety of cowpea to bacterial blight, Pusa Sadabahar of chili and Prabhani Kranti of Bindi are resistant to chili mosaic virus, tobacco mosaic virus, leaf curl and yellow mosaic virus respectively. Pest resistant crops, Brassica, the Pusa Gaurav variety is resistant to aphids. Pusa same, Pusa same 2 and 3 are resistant to jacids, aphids and fruit borer. Similarly, Pusa savani and Pusa A4 varieties of bindi are resistant to shoot and fruit borer. Those are the insect pests. Plant breeding for improved food quality. 3 billion people suffer from micronutrient protein and vitamin deficiencies or hidden hunger because they cannot afford to buy enough fruits, vegetables, legumes, fish and meat. Diets lacking essential micronutrients, particularly iron, vitamin A, irene and zinc 
increases the risk for disease, reduces the lifespan and reduces mental abilities. Biofortification Breeding crops with higher levels of vitamins and minerals or higher protein and healthier fats is the most practical means to improve public health. Breeding for improved nutritional quality is undertaken with the objectives of improving protein content and quality, oil content and quality, vitamin content, micronutrient and mineral content. Breeding for anti-nutritional factors. Anti-nutritional factors are compounds present in foods and have adverse effects on animal and human growth. Some examples are glucosinolates. They are present in oils obtained from Brassica napers and are not liked by animals similar to uracic acid which has long chain saturated fatty acids producing heart ailments. A neurotoxin cyanoalanine present in casery that is Lathyrus sativus produces muscular cramps and causes latherism which is a type of paralysis. A crop should be free from such anti-nutritional factors. Canola is a variety of rapeseed in which genes for glucosinolates and uracic acid have been deleted. Coming to single cell proteins. Conventionally, agricultural production of cereals and pulses, vegetables, fruits may not be able to meet the demand of food at the rate at which the human and animal population is growing. The shift from grain to meat diets creates more demand for cereals as it takes 3 to 10 kgs of grain to produce 1 kg of meat by the animal farming. Some microorganisms like bacteria, the blue-green algae, yeasts, filamentous algae are used as food and are called single-cell proteins which acts as an alternative source of proteins for animal and human nutrition. Microbes are being grown on an industrial scale as a source of good protein. Microbes like spiralnina can be grown easily on materials like wastewater from potato processing plants which contain starch, straw, molasses, animal manure and even sewage to produce large quantities. They can serve as food rich in protein, minerals, fats, carbohydrates and vitamins. Also reduces environmental pollution. It has been calculated that a 250 kg cow produces 200 grams of protein a day. In the same period, 250 grams of a microorganism like Methylophilus methylotrophus because of its high rate of biomass production and growth can be expected to produce 25 tons of protein. Thus, single cell proteins are processed to remove excess of nucleic acids, spirulina, fusarium graminearum, Chlorella, Methylophus, Methylotrophus, and Sendesmus. Coming to tissue culture, plant cells and organs can be cultured in vitro on a suitable medium. In vitro word means out from the body and inside a plate where suitable conditions are provided for the growth. Scientists learned that the whole new plant could be regenerated from the explants that is any part of the plant taken out and grown in a test tube under the sterile conditions in special nutrient medium. This capacity to generate a whole new plant from any cell or explant is known as the tutti potency. 
the nutrient media must provide a carbon source such as sucrose and an organic salts vitamins amino acids and growth regulators like auxins and cytokinins here we see the diagrammatic presentation of a tissue culture tissue is scraped from the parent plant put in a agar growth medium containing suitable nutrients and auxins then the samples develop into tiny plantlets and the plantlets planted in compost for the new plants this method of producing large number of plants through tissue culture is known as micro propagation here we see the apple micro propagation each of these plants will be genetically identical to the original plant from which they were grown that is they are the soma clones many important food plants like tomato banana apple have been produced on commercial scale using this method another important application of the method is the recovery of healthy plants from disease plants Although the plant is infected with the virus the meristem that is the apical and axillary is free of virus if the meristem is removed and grown in vitro to obtain virus free plant